Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 98 on the FTC K-6 through practice test. This is a teacher certification exam in Florida for elementary school teachers. It's a great problem here in number 98 if you're a teacher out there in the United States preparing for your teacher certification exam regardless of the state. So you could be in Texas or California or Massachusetts um, preparing for your test. The content is going to be the same. All right, so let's take a look. Uh, this is today we're going to review a little bit of PEMDAS and and looking at number sense uh, word problems. All right, Mr. Green had one pencil for each of his thirty students. Three students wanted two pencils each. Then a new student came to the school and asked for three pencils. Afterwards, one of the first three students gave his two pencils back. Which formula would show how many pencils Ms. Mr. Green had left to pass out? Now this is a word problem, so I want you to read it over. Um, pause the video, read it to yourself, and then we're going to look through which one of these operations would help us get to the answer. Now just, just pointing out in these answer choices here, when we're dealing with operations, you always have to remember the order in which to do those operations. So parentheses indicate that you're going to do what's in the parentheses first. Usually we do what's in the parentheses first, and if there's any exponent connected to the parentheses, we'll do parentheses and exponents in that in uh, um, going about it that way. Then once we do parentheses and exponents, we add on you know multiplication and division. So in this case right here, in answer choice B, you would be you would be doing these first, the operation of multiplication before you went on um, and it's either multiplication or division and then finally at the very end that's when you do addition and subtraction and this is commonly referred to as PEMDAS always do parentheses and exponents first then start working on multiplication and division then lastly you want to do your addition and subtraction alright okay that's a very very basic review of PEMDAS but I just wanted to point it out in the, how it's uh, being presented in the structure of the answers. Now let's, uh, let's, now let's try also a reading comprehension strategy. One thing I like to do whenever you're given a word problem is that whenever I'm given a word problem, but I want you to do the same thing too, is I want you to get in the habit of trying to pull out information. So here, I, I, and I'm going to pull out information one sentence at a time. So it says here, Mr. Green has 30, 30 students. Oh, one pencil for his 30 students. So that means he's got 30 pencils to start. Three students want two pencils. So he's got three students, and they each want two pencils. Then a new student came to the school um, and asked for um, three pencils. OK, so that one new, that's, here's that one new student. They want three pencils. Afterwards, one of the first two students gave back two of his pencils. So I guess one of these students um, gave back two of his pencils, and that's actually a subtract. Um, that's going to be adding back to the the number of pencils Mr. Green has. So we could look at the answer choices. We could take our lead that we're going to start with thirty students. And now I'm going to put together, I'm going to take this word problem, I'm going to put it into a, an expression. Um, an expression that would help me figure out um, how many uh, pencils are left. Now the expression has, is made up of all these different parts. So I, I read it over the first time to pull out the information. And then I have to read it over again a second time and put, to, and put the pieces together. All right. Do this first step. That way you go through, you understand the question, you understand this first group of students here, right? This first group is actually a subtraction because you're taking away six, three students want two pencils, so you're actually taking away six pencils. And then there's another student here, he wants, he wants his own three pencils, so we're just going to write that as just three. And then one of those nice students, in the, one of those kind of uh, eager students in the beginning wanted uh, some pencils but he decided to give it back. Well that's like adding two pencils. And when we look through our answer choices for something that resembles this, 
we come up with, um, I think it's answer choice A, as getting us closest to this one right here. Well, actually, it is this one right here. So the answer is A. Again, the way I went about doing this was I first, you know, read the problem over, pulled out information, and then after pulling out the information, I tried to combine it into a, a number sense expression that helped me get to the answer. All right. I used some clues from the answer choices. I noticed that first I saw parentheses, multiplication, division, addition. So I had an idea that this had to do with PEMDAS, the order of operations. So I'm going to have to watch, I'm going to have to know when I'm multiplying, when I'm adding and subtracting. I also took, took a lead in my writing of my expression by starting with the 30. Um, if we look at the other choices, just really quickly, what's wrong with B? Well, in B, I think that the big thing with B is that they want you to add 3 and then subtract 2. So that would actually eliminate B from how we had our uh, information laid out. And then with C, it has this whole operation here and then this multiplication here, and we could rule that one out too. And then D, same thing, it's got this weird operation of it adding, which, you know, it's not like those three students gave back their two pencils. Um, and, uh, and you know, that's, this sort of falls apart. Now, the strategy that we use for this, you could use for a much harder problem. So don't just take away that the answer is A and be like, hey, I know the answer is A. Learn the strategy so you could apply it on a much harder problem for your exam, okay? All right, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.